Hello and welcome to ITM. In this video, I'm going to talk about another reason for getting disk layout validation fail while converting your disk from MBR to GPT is your partition is too close to the beginning of the hard disk or partition is too close to the end of the hard disk. So if you'll have a look in the prerequisite of MBR to GPT, it says that you should have at least 16 KB plus two sector in front of the disk and 16 KB plus one sector at the end of the disk. Now, mostly, most of the modern partitioning software, they use one MB alignment, so it means that they leave one MB in the beginning and one MB in the ending. And one MB, if you are not aware, it's equivalent to 1024 kilobytes, so it's more than enough space. So, I tried to reproduce that error. I was not able to, I don't know which software you use that caused this issue. Just if you are familiar with, please comment down below and I will be manually editing the hard disk and regenerating that issue. So uh, there are multiple ways to fix this and in a lot of viewers asked the question and I recommended them shrinking it and one of the users said that it was successful that he shrink the partition from the beginning or ending it was successful like in this case it was having partition too close to the end of the disk and he shrink by a few megabytes and it was successful so the error that you might encounter looks something like this that it says that the partition is too close to the beginning of the hard disk so it requires around 16 kilobytes while it was starting from 4096 byte that is equivalent to 8 eight sectors each sector is of 512 bytes another error it could be that you have partition too close to the end of the hard disk so it's supposed to end at this number and it is ending at this number so if you do the difference you'll find it is around 16 kilobytes so most of the modern hard disks they use 1MB alignment, most of the partitioning software they use 1MB alignment so maybe you can try some partitioning software that will fix the issue or you can try shrinking the partition or you can delete and recreate the partition. So in my case if I go to my machine I will show you the hard disk content so currently my disk is an MBR partition style so if I go to disk management and this is the older version of Windows 10, so that's why you are seeing only two partitions. That is the recovery partition, system partition, that is active partition, and this is the boot partition. In the newer versions of Windows 10, you get uh, 50 megabytes of system partition, boot partition, and the end you have around 500, 600 megabytes of recovery partition. So let's open this hard disk in the disk hard disk editor. I have this tool over here. And using this, I will be editing the hard disk. It's a free tool available. I will open my disk. And this is the only physical disk I have. And from here, you can see that this has got two partitions, partition number one and partition number two. And the first sector is starting from 2048. And if you multiply 2048 times sector size, that is 512, you will get one megabyte. So I will be editing this over here, this binary value. So I say allow editing the content. So 800. So now I can see that it is starting at sector number 8 and I will be saving it. Okay, so now if I reboot my machine, it will not be able to boot because at sector 8, there is no binary code. You can see here it's totally empty. So it will say the operating system missing. So I will just close it. Now I will be rebooting using the, the Windows installation media and then I will recreate a reformat that is so it just puts that boot code at sector number eight. So I'll just show you rebooting. I will disconnect the disk. So I say that says that missing operating system. So I'll connect the disk again and reset the machine I'll boot from the Windows installation media and then I will go to the command prompt using disk part command line utility I will format the, the, the first partition so shift F10 
disk part and I will be selecting the first disk using select disk so if I do list disk and you can see that I have only one disk so if I say select disk 0 and if I do list partition and you can see that this is the first partition that I need to work with so select partition 1 format quick and I have deleted everything from here and then if I exit and then I just need to recreate the configuration database that was sitting over here so I can say bcd boot bcd boot d colon slash windows because now when I'm booting see the first partition becomes the C drive and the second C drive that was the actual C drive inside the operating system is now the D drive so I recreated the boot configuration database now I should reset and uh, let's d uh, eject the, the windows installation media and now if I reset now I should be able to boot up okay so now I have recreated reproduced that scenario where my partition the first partition is starting from sector number eight I will again show you in that disk editing tool and then I will show you how to fix that okay so if I go on to the the active disk editor and open the disk zero okay open disk and show me the content for disk zero so the first partition is starting at sector eight and then you can see we have that NTFS code sitting over here so now let's try to convert this disk using MBR to GPT. Uh, you need to open as administrator. So start menu, type in CMD and select run as administrator. Okay, so here if I do, uh, let's uh, make it bigger. Okay. So MBR to GPT slash allow full OS. So the sequence of parameters doesn't make any difference if you put convert first and then you put allow full OS, that's also okay. So if I run that and it says that disk layout validation failed. So you have that error file that contains the details sitting in c colon backslash window slash setup act error dot log that will contain the error and you can see that says first partition too close to the beginning of the hard disk it start at this and while it is starting at sector number eight and if you want to see more details also we have set up act dot log file that will also give you the same details that over here the first partition too close to the beginning of the hard disk now the way to fix is you can use partitioning tool to do the, the alignment and I use EASUS also that didn't work I use many tool partition wizard and that worked for me uh, you can use other options also like I mentioned before you can just shrink the partitions or you can just delete and recreate the partitions if they are uh, recovery partitions or the system partition so I'll be doing this tool and I want to mention that this is not the sponsored video it's completely your choice which partitioning tool you want to use to fix this most of the tool they have this alignment option available so if I right click the disk and we have option over here align all partitions or if you know which partition is not aligned we have also option over here right click and you have align over here so if I right click the disk and I say align all partitions it will find out that which partition is not aligned so it says that it found that one partition is not aligned 
click on OK and which partition was that that was not aligned you can see it says that it is disk 1 partition 1 I will click on apply and click on yes and now it is doing that alignment starting at 2048 okay so normally it doesn't take that much time so just to ensure that once you have done these changes close it if you don't close it you will get an error it will not be able to create EFI partition so quit the program and then let's again run CMD control shift enter and it opens this command prompt and then again I will be running that program MBR tab forward slash allow full OS forward slash convert and you can see that it has successfully converted the disk and you can ignore this error I have already created a video on that so if I right click and go to disk management And you can see that the disk is already converted to GPT. So it's now good partition table. Now, after this conversion, you just need to, if required, disable legacy BIOS in your firmware settings. In the virtual box, I have to switch to UEFI. So I'll just shut down and convert the UFI settings. So that's how you get this, get rid of this error. Hope you like this video. If you have any other questions or comments, please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.